No biggie. You can now buy signed fingerprint cards from the arrests of some of rap's biggest stars. These cards are pieces of hip-hop history. Momentsintime.com, comma, one of the best autograph dealers in the country, has put up for sale two one-of-a-kind items of music souvenirs from rappers Tupac and the Notorious Big, along with some serious street cred for a crazy $225,000 each. Take a look. The fingerprint records for Tupac show his real name, Lassane Parrish Crooks. They were taken from his arrest in 1995 when he was found guilty of sexually assaulting a fan named Ayana Jackson and given a 1.5 year term. Also, Biggie's arrest fingerprints are the first ever ones that show him signing off with his real name, Christopher Wallace. Such an important piece of history. In Pennsylvania in 1995, when arrest season was in full swing, Biggie was also held on charges of robbery and aggravated assault. The robbery charges were later dropped, though. Of course, we don't support these crimes, but let the rap fight begin for all the longtime rap fans who want to get their hands on historical collectibles. In the early 90s, as Tupac Shakur's star was on the rise in the music industry, his life became intertwined with a series of legal entanglements, adding layers of complexity to his public persona. In the winter of 1992, Tupac found himself in a tight spot on the streets of Atlanta. A routine traffic violation escalated, leading to his arrest. The charge? Assaulting a police officer. However, fortune favored him. And this particular legal storm blew over when the charges were eventually dropped. Tupac's knack for trouble seemed unshakable. In the fall of 1993, back in Atlanta, he faced the law again, this time for an altercation with a limousine driver. The incident resulted in another arrest, though the legal repercussions were less severe. As Tupac's fame grew, so did the spotlight on his personal life. The fall of 1993 marked a critical juncture when he faced the most serious charges yet. In Los Angeles, he was accused of sexual assault. The courtroom became a stage for a highly publicized trial. Tupac vehemently denied the allegations, insisting that the encounters were consensual. The legal drama unfolded, ultimately leading to a conviction for sexual abuse in 1995, a stain on his reputation that he contested until his untimely end. In the summer of 1994, Tupac's troubles spilled onto a film set in New York City. Tempers flared, resulting in an altercation with a director during the shooting of Above the Rim. The aftermath? A brief stint in jail, a consequence of his actions. By October 1995, the legal pendulum swung once more. This time in Los Angeles, a clash with members of the rival rap group Thug Life led to accusations of probation violation and firearm possession. Tupac was handed a sentence of four and a half years, a period that he wouldn't fully serve. Nine months later, he was released on bail, continuing to navigate the complex intersection of fame, and controversy until his tragic end in 1996. Tupac Shakur's life was a narrative woven with successes and setbacks, his legal struggles becoming an integral part of the enigmatic legacy he left behind. As the hip-hop world embraced the rise of Tupac Shakur, another luminary was making waves on the East Coast. Christopher Wallace, known as the Notorious Big, entered the rap scene with a lyrical prowess that would solidify his place in the annals of music history. However, his journey was marked by a series of legal episodes, adding a layer of complexity to his own narrative. In the early 90s, as Biggie Smalls gained prominence, legal troubles began to shadow his success. The streets of Brooklyn, where he hailed from, witnessed the first chapter. Biggie found himself entangled with the law for drug-related offenses, an echo of the harsh realities of urban life 
that often found its way into his rhymes. Despite these early brushes with legal challenges, it was clear that his destiny was intertwined with the rap game. As the years unfolded, Biggie faced a significant legal hurdle. In 1996, while on the precipice of superstardom, he was arrested in Manhattan on weapons and assault charges. The incident, involving a nightclub shooting, cast a shadow over his skyrocketing career. Biggie, however, managed to maintain his focus on music, even as the courtroom drama played out. Tragically, the legal saga surrounding the notorious Big reached its climax in March 1997 when he was fatally shot in Los Angeles. The circumstances surrounding his murder remain a mystery, fueling conspiracy theories and speculation. Biggie's untimely death abruptly concluded not only his legal battles, but also an era in hip-hop marked by both musical innovation and the harsh realities of inner-city life. Christopher Wallace's story, much like Tupac's, is etched into the history of hip-hop as a tale of talent, triumphs, and the tribulations that often accompany the pursuit of fame in a world filled with both rhyme 